honor to be here with the first Jewish president of the United States. Donald Trump converted to Judaism two years ago, according to White House official. Here it is, that's his blog. He said, President Donald Trump converted to Judaism two years ago and joined Abad Lubavitch Synagogue in New York City, according to a high level. There is absolutely no doubt that Donald Trump is supported, owned, and operated by the Zionist Jew power structure. It is a verifiable fact. It is a fact the mainstream media and mainstream alternative media alike will dare not touch. Anyone ignoring this fact and not exposing this is either incredibly naive or bought and paid for to sell you disinformation. Donald Trump is absolutely surrounded by and has appointed psychopathic neocons and Rothschild Zionists, yet many are in delusion and denial largely in part due to their desperate desire for a savior, and this is what the elite have counted on. It is through this desperation and demoralization of a collective consciousness, sick and tired of a corrupt system and government, they were able to once again pull off another dog and pony show and manipulate people into believing that once again, things could be different this time. Through the obsolete and meaningless system of voting. Hope and Change 2.0. Unfortunately, this is just another case of Meet the new boss, same as the old boss. We are led to believe that Trump is at war with the mainstream media and the establishment, a mainstream media that is mainly Zionist Jewish owned and operated, another verifiable fact. Trump is also surrounded and supported by an endless stream of Ashkenazi Jews in his organizations and administration. He is of course a quote unquote lifelong supporter and true friend of Israel, the largest terrorist state in the world. Sadly, most people do not realize that Israel and Mossad intelligence were key players in carrying out 9-11. If Trump truly was for the people, he would help expose the stranglehold of Israel and the Zionist power structure. America is just a puppet regime of Israel and Zion. A small fraction of the population are finally discovering that this Zionist apparatus controls our Federal Reserve System, corporations, Hollywood and our media, and have our politicians in their back pockets. An even smaller fraction of the population understands that Trump would never get to where he is if he weren't owned and operated by these same powers. And as they say, the proof is in the pudding. In addition to Trump being a staunch Zionist supporter, all one needs to do is look at who surrounds and supports Donald Trump. Then you will understand how the media versus Trump narrative is just another ruse in Zionist script. The scripted battle between Trump and the Jewish-owned media was the key chessboard move to legitimizing Trump in the eyes of the demoralized populace, a demoralized populace who by now has little to no trust for the so-called dinosaur media. The idea that Trump is at war with a Jewish-owned media, while simultaneously surrounded and supported by an army of them, is as ridiculous and absurd as it can get and isn't remotely believable to anyone aware of who really owns the media. Many have also been fooled into believing Trump has hinted at 9-11 truth, but this is nothing more than laughable to any real 9-11 researcher. What he has stated publicly on 9-11 thus far has been nothing but lies and misdirection. In addition to being friends with 9-11 Rudy Giuliani, Trump has focused on the limited hangout and misdirection angle of Saudi Arabia which is what gatekeepers, disinfo agents, and the media focuses on, ignoring the huge elephant in the room, Israel. Trump has publicly stated that he saw quote-unquote thousands of Muslim Americans celebrating the 9-11 attacks in New Jersey, which is the biggest lie imaginable. The real truth Trump or your mainstream media will never mention is the only people actually documented celebrating the 9-11 event were a small handful of undercover Israeli Mossad agents who had been in the U.S. for months and some for years whose operation was busted by a nationwide FBI sting and were captured on the George Washington Bridge with explosives in their van of their front company, Urban Moving Systems. The reports we're getting now, two or three men arrested on the New Jersey Parkway. Deborah, can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Uh, that is the information that I'm getting from two sources, that there was a van either on the New Jersey Turnpike or the Garden State Parkway and that it was near the George Washington Bridge. There were two or three men who were in the van. The van was pulled over. Uh, it is not clear why the van was pulled over, but when it was, 
uh, law enforcers found uh, uh, tons of explosives inside of the van. That is right now all I'm hearing, um, but again, two to three people uh, in custody, and we are trying to get more information on that right now. And word late tonight that two suspects are in FBI custody after a truckload of explosives was discovered around the George Washington Bridge. That bridge uh, links uh, New York to New Jersey over the Hudson River. Whether the discovery of those explosives had anything to do with other events of the day is unclear, but the FBI has two suspects in hand, said the truck uh, load of explosives, enough explosives were in the truck to do great damage to the George Washington Bridge. But they arrested the two suspects and they're questioning them as we speak. Since 9-11, we have thousands of pages of FBI, CIA, and DOJ reports documenting the arrests made on 9-11. The FBI report outlines the fact that the dancing Israelis were found to have taken 76 photographs, had maps, plane tickets, box cutters, and almost $5,000 in cash. In their 2004 civil lawsuit, the Israeli plaintiffs demanded their possessions and money back, in addition to many other demands. The declassified FBI reports also outline the little-known fact that additional Israelis driving vans were arrested by police in Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New Hampshire after the 9-11 attack. Numerous trucks and vans with explosives were stopped by police on 9-11. And, as outlandish and unbelievable as it may sound, one of the vans had a mural painted on the side of it depicting a plane crashing into the Twin Towers. This is confirmed by two sources. One, the New York Police radio transmission recordings from the day of 9-11. Two, it was also discussed by U.S. Transportation Secretary Norman Mineta himself in his February 2006 official report titled Saving City Lifelines, Lessons Learned in the 9-11 Terrorist Attacks. The report stated, quote, There were continuing moments of alarm. A panel truck with a painting of a plane flying into the World Trade Center was stopped near the temporary command post. It proved to be rented to a group of ethnic Middle Eastern people who did not speak English. Fearing that it might be a truck bomb, the NYPD immediately evacuated the area, called out the bomb squad, and detained the occupants until a thorough search was made. The vehicle was found to be an innocent delivery truck." End quote. The report, of course, makes absolutely no mention of the truck exploding or the fact that these Middle Eastern people had actually been Israeli spies. I got a message on that uh, plane. It's, it's, a, it's a big truck with a mural painted of, a, of an airplane diving into New York City and exploding. I don't know what's in the truck. The truck is in between 6th and 7th on King Street. I said for how many issue the bomb squad, they're full with King. questions but you are vindicated this has got to be the 50th time the last six months on the radical muslims celebrating not just in new jersey but new york palestine all over what do you have to say they're still attacking you though we've got dan rather on video we've got new york post we've got washington post we've got uh, i mean what's going on here well i took a lot of heat and i was very strong on Of course, even though Israel's involvement in 9-11 is now documented, proven, and verifiable fact, this information has been well swept under the radar. Most Americans will never realize what took place regarding the many Israeli spies arrested and detained on 9-11, only to be later released and sent back to Israel. This information will never be mentioned or covered by the mainstream media, let alone Donald Trump. And that is because he is obviously in bed with Israel and the Mossad. Michael Aboud, Communications Coordinator, Donald J. Trump for President, Sephardic Jew. Paul Eschleitner, Chairman, Supervisory Board, Deutsche Bank, Donald Trump's largest lender, Ashkenazi Jew. Miriam Adelson, Endorser, Donald J. Trump for President, Donor, Future 45 PAC, Finance Vice Chairman, Trump Presidential Inaugural Committee, Ashkenazi Jew. Sheldon Adelson, Endorser, Donald J. Trump for President, 
donor, future 45 PAC, finance vice chairman, Trump presidential inaugural committee, Ashkenazi Jew. Paul Atkins, member, President Trump's strategic and policy forum, Ashkenazi Jew. Brian Ballard, finance vice chairman, Trump presidential inaugural committee, Ashkenazi Jew. Elliot Broidy, vice chairman, Trump victory committee, finance vice chairman, Trump presidential inaugural committee, Ashkenazi Jew. Safra Katz, executive committee member, Trump presidential transition team, Ashkenazi Jew. Michael Cohen, executive vice president and special counsel, the Trump Organization, Ashkenazi Jew. Gary Cohn, Director, United States National Economic Council, Ashkenazi Jew. Delos Cosgrove, Member, President Trump's Strategic and Policy Forum, Ashkenazi Jew. Gil Dezer, President, Trump Dezer Development, Ashkenazi Jew. Michael Dezer, Founder, Trump Dezer Development, Ashkenazi Jew. Louis Eisenberg, Chairman, Trump Victory Committee, Finance Co-Chairman, Trump Presidential Inaugural Committee, Ashkenazi Jew. Boris Epstein, Senior Advisor, Donald J. Trump for President, Ashkenazi Jew. Steven Feinberg, Donor, Trump Victory Fund, Member, Trump Economic Advisory Council, Ashkenazi Jew. Lawrence Fink, Member, President Trump's Strategic and Policy Forum, Ashkenazi Jew. Alan Fishman, Chairman, Ladder Capital, Donald Trump's Second Largest Lender, Ashkenazi Jew. David Friedman, Co-Chairman, Israel Advisory Committee for Donald Trump, United States Ambassador to Israel, Ashkenazi Jew. Samuel Fox, Vice Chairman, Trump Victory Committee, Ashkenazi Jew. Alan Garten, Executive Vice President and General Counsel, the Trump Organization, Ashkenazi Jew. Bruce Gelb, Endorser, Donald J. Trump for President, Ashkenazi Jew. Michael Glasner, Deputy Campaign Manager and National Political Director, Donald J. Trump for President. Special Advisor for Operations, Trump Presidential Transition Team, Ashkenazi Jew. Lawrence Glick, Executive Vice President of Strategic Development, the Trump Organization, Ashkenazi Jew. Jason Greenblatt, Executive Vice President and Chief Legal Officer, the Trump Organization, Co-Chairman, Israel Advisory Committee for Donald J. Trump, President Trump's Special Representative for International Negotiations, Ashkenazi Jew. Vincent Harris, Former Digital Strategy Manager, Donald J. Trump for President, Ashkenazi Jew. Thomas Hicks, Sr., Finance Vice Chairman, Trump Presidential Inaugural Committee, Ashkenazi Jew. Carl Ikan, Endorser, Donald J. Trump for President, Special Advisor to the President for Regulatory Reform, Ashkenazi Jew. Gail Ikan, Finance Vice Chairman, Trump Presidential Inaugural Committee, Ashkenazi Jew. Robert Eager, Member, President Trump's Strategic and Policy Forum, Ashkenazi Jew. Travis Kalanick, Member, President Trump's Strategic and Policy Forum, Ashkenazi Jew. Peter Calico, Donor, Trump Victory Fund, Ashkenazi Jew. Daniel Kowalski, Deputy Policy Director, Donald J. Trump for President, Member, Trump Economic Advisory Council, Ashkenazi Jew. Charles Kushner, Endorser, Donald J. Trump for President, Donor, Make America Great Again PAC, Ashkenazi Jew. Jared Kushner, Senior Advisor, Donald J. Trump for President, Executive Committee Member, Trump Presidential Transition Team, Ashkenazi Jew. Yael Kushner, Ivanka Trump, Executive Vice President, the Trump Organization, Senior Advisor, Donald J. Trump for President, Executive Committee Member, Trump Presidential Transition Team, Orthodox Jewish Convert. Bennett LeBeau, Donor, Trump Victory Fund, Ashkenazi Jew. Richard Lesser, Member, President Trump's Strategic and Policy Forum, Ashkenazi Jew. Ronald Lieberman, Executive Vice President of Management and Development, the Trump Organization, Ashkenazi Jew. Howard Lorber, Donor, Trump Victory Fund, Member, Trump Economic Advisory Council, Ashkenazi Jew. David Malpass, Member, Trump Economic Advisory Council, Ashkenazi Jew. Douglas Manchester, Donor, Make America Great Again PAC, Ashkenazi Jew. Bernard Marcus, Endorser, Donald J. Trump for President, Donor, Rebuilding America Now PAC, Donor, Make America Number One PAC, Ashkenazi Jew. Rebecca Mercer, Donor, Make America Number One PAC, Executive Committee Member, Trump Presidential Transition Team, Ashkenazi Jew. Robert Mercer, Donor, Make America Number One PAC, Ashkenazi Jew. Amanda Miller, Vice President of Marketing, The Trump Organization, Ashkenazi Jew. Eli Miller, Chief Operating Officer, Donald J. Trump for President, Ashkenazi Jew. Jason Miller, 
Senior Communications Advisor, Donald J. Trump for President, Communications Director, Trump Presidential Transition Team, Communications Director and Assistant to the President, the White House, Ashkenazi Jew, Stephen Miller, National Policy Director, Donald J. Trump for President, National Policy Director, Trump Presidential Transition Team, Senior Advisor to the President for Policy, the White House, Ashkenazi Jew, Stephen Mnuchin, Donor, Trump Victory Fund, Member, Trump Economic Advisory Council, National Finance Chairman, Donald J. Trump for President, Executive Committee Member, Trump Presidential Transition Team, Secretary, United States Department of Treasury, Ashkenazi Jew, Samuel Nunberg, Former Policy Advisor, Donald J. Trump for President, Ashkenazi Jew, David Orwitz, Senior Vice President of Acquisitions and Development, the Trump Organization, Ashkenazi Jew, Jeffrey Palmer, Donor, Rebuilding America Now PAC, Ashkenazi Jew, John Paulson, Donor, Trump Victory Fund, Member, Trump Economic Advisory Council, Ashkenazi Jew, Laura Perlmutter, Donor, Trump Victory Fund, Finance Vice Chairman, Trump Presidential Inaugural Committee, Ashkenazi Jew, Andrew Puzder, Secretary, United States Department of Labor, Ashkenazi Jew, Stuart Rauer, Endorser, Donald J. Trump for President, Ashkenazi Jew, Richard Roberts, Vice Chairman, Israel Advisory Committee for Donald Trump, Ashkenazi Jew, George Ross, Executive Vice President and Senior Counsel, the Trump Organization, Ashkenazi Jew, Wilbur Ross Jr., Billionaire Investor and Former Senior Managing Director of Rothschilds Incorporated for 25 years, Secretary of Commerce, Donor, Trump Victory Fund, Member, Trump Economic Advisory Council, Secretary, United States Department of Commerce, Ashkenazi Jew, Stephen Roth, Donor, Trump Victory Fund, Member, Trump Economic Advisory Council, Ashkenazi Jew. Keith Schiller, Director of Security, the Trump Organization, Ashkenazi Jew. Stephen Schwartzman, Chairman, President Trump's Strategic and Policy Forum, Ashkenazi Jew. Melvin Sembler, Vice Chairman, Trump Victory Committee, Finance Vice Chairman, Trump Presidential Inaugural Committee, Ashkenazi Jew. Yaakov Shahem, Endorser, Donald J. Trump for President, Donor, Trump Victory Fund, Ashkenazi Jew. Mark Short, Senior Advisor to Vice President-Elect, Trump Presidential Transition Team, Ashkenazi Jew. Peter Thiel, Endorser, Donald J. Trump for President, Donor, Trump Victory Fund, Donor, Rebuilding America Now PAC, Donor, Make America Number One PAC, Executive Committee Member, Trump Presidential Transition Team, Ashkenazi Jew. Lara Trump, Endorser, Donald J. Trump for President, Ashkenazi Jew. Vanessa Trump, Endorser, Donald J. Trump for President, Ashkenazi Jew. Kevin Warsh, Member, President Trump's Strategic and Policy Forum, Ashkenazi Jew. Mark Weinberger, Member, President Trump's Strategic and Policy Forum, Ashkenazi Jew. Ronald Weiser, Vice Chairman, Trump Victory Committee, Finance Vice Chairman, Trump Presidential Inaugural Committee, Ashkenazi Jew. Andrew Weiss, Executive Vice President, the Trump Organization, Ashkenazi Jew. Alan Weisselberg, Executive Vice President and Chief Financial Officer, the Trump Organization, Ashkenazi Jew. Lawrence Weitzner, Advisor, Donald J. Trump for President, Ashkenazi Jew. Stephen Whitkoff, Donor, Trump Victory Fund, Ashkenazi Jew. Stephen Wynn, Financial Vice Chairman, Trump Presidential Inaugural Committee, Ashkenazi Jew. Richard Lefrak, Donor, Trump Victory Fund, Ashkenazi Jew. Daniel Yergin, Member, President Trump's Strategic and Policy Forum, Ashkenazi Jew. So now you can see how absurd the notion that the Jewish-owned media really hates Donald Trump when they actually love him. Take CNN for example, all Jewish-owned and run. The major shareholder for CNN is Aviv Nevo, an Israeli billionaire venture capitalist. Head of CNN is Zionist Jeff Zucker, along with the many Zionist Jew propagandists such as Jake Tapper, Wolf Blitzer, Larry King, and many more. But you get the point. The reason the media has been quote-unquote against Donald Trump is because that was the Zionist script that has been written. This glaring contradiction is how you can see through this elaborate charade and deception of Trump, the so-called anti-establishment figure. Now you know when you see him call out CNN or any other mainstream media outlet, 
it is a ruse and nothing more than Zionist scripted entertainment and distraction for a dumbed down and ignorant populace. The bottom line is, you cannot be anti-establishment, anti-globalist, and be pro-Zionist, pro-Israel. This is the real truth. And until we see otherwise, nothing will ever change. It is time to drain the swamp in Washington, D.C. Her papers went out to all her friends at the banks, Goldman Sachs and everybody else. President-elect Donald Trump turned to former Goldman Sachs banker and movie financier Steve Mnuchin to be the next Treasury Secretary. We're working on the economic plan of the transition, making sure we get the biggest tax bill passed. The 53-year-old was Trump's campaign finance chief building a network of donors to support Mr. Trump's general election campaign. Mr. Mnuchin has strong ties to Wall Street after a 17-year career at Goldman Sachs, where he pioneered block trading, the selling of big chunks of shares at once. Mr. Mnuchin was born to a Jewish family in 1962, and his father also worked at Goldman Sachs. It's official. President-elect Donald Trump has picked Gary Cohn to head the National Economic Council. Gary Cohn's also going to be an assistant to the president for economic policy. If you've been watching CNBC, you already knew this because we've been reporting this for what feels like days, but now it is, we will miss Gary at Goldman Sachs, but I believe the American people and the president-elect are fortunate that he has chosen to serve his country. I am confident that Gary will bring his many talents and expertise to the White House and will do his part to make our economy stronger for all Americans. That coming from Lloyd Blankfein, the CEO of Goldman Sachs.